All right, so moving back to what we have to continue to do. We have a wire, black wire over here that was from the relay number two, and we also have a black heart wire here from port number two. So here, looking back at our, our uh, wire ends, we want to take a little more insulation off one of them, it doesn't matter which, and we're gonna twist the two together, and we're gonna push these through on the side over here where the where our plug for the heater will end up being. So this is what allows you to set a temperature for extruding your plastic and for that temperature feedback to be held. So we kind of swivel these together so that should be nice a uh, nice tight coil with a little bit uh, maybe about a quarter centimeter or so of free wire at the end and that will make it easier for doing the double crimp with the with the plug. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it through on over oh, sorry on this wires in the way on the bottom of these two holes on the on the left I'm going to push it through the AC negative. So this is upside down so I can should flip this other side. So AC negative. So this double double here, we're gonna push through. So we, again, try to get out the majority of the nasty infill material, but you know, we can do only so much. So we have to push this through and this will be a little bit tight of a wire but we want it to be like that so that's good and then we will also pull from our switch switches here on our heater switch so this one here heat we have a red and a black we're going to take our red and we're going to push it through the AC plus so the, the hot and we're going to push that here. All right, and then all we're left with is this black. All we should be left with is this black and this red, and we're gonna join the two just like we did for the, for the black one over here. And so again, one should be a little bit more exposed than the other wire, and we can go through and twist them. Like so. Okay, looks good. And on this one, actually, we're going to put a female connector on this one. So it's really important that there's that extra single wire. That way this will slide pretty much wholly over, entirely over. And we can crimp this. Now, just to be safe, to make sure this is secure, can give it a nice tug. And we also electrically tape this just because there's maybe a tiny bit of wire um, that could be exposed. So taking this, take a piece of electrical tape and put it over the top. Pull it tight. And I like to tighten it. Swirl and pinch. Pinch it really tight. And that looks really good. Okay. So the last part before we put everything together is we have to put our cord here to the AC positive and AC negative. So if you want to undo the zip tie, you can look for the end. And we have to peel apart the end. So. so we split the wire for the plug into two and we need to strip off a little bit of excess. I think either 16 um, or 15 gauge is sufficient to strip off this chunk using the strippers. So I'm using actually a 
the, let's see, that must have been the 16 gauge wire stripper. So uh, we are going to hook up these two parts from this cord to the AC negative and AC positive. To do that, we're going to use one again of these double connectors. Because this is a little bit of a tighter fit, and uh, just because we want this to be snug, we're going to probably recommend putting it onto the part coming out of the box first before hooking it up to the cord because there's a little more flexibility with the cord. So we'll go ahead and use our crimpers to do that. And again, using our math mad strength, so give it a tug, should be snug. And sometimes these wires need to be twisted just to keep them together. And then put that in there. And then go ahead and crimp that. And then we'll just do, go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. Now that we have both the, the uh, power cords parts uh, clamped, we need to tape them together. So we're gonna use a piece of electrical tape and make a couple different, probably two pieces of tape to secure these connections. So there's one. Get another piece. Maybe about mm, three or so centimeters or three inches long. And wrap this up nice and tight. Okay, looks good. And then usually do th one last piece. just to seal everything well together. Uh, right, cool. So then that's, that's pretty much finished.